Coming to you from the state of Maryland. News, weather, traffic, and more. This is YouTube Recording News on YouTube Recording HD with Malcolm Oliver as a news reporter and a weather reporter. Welcome to the YouTube Recording News. So for today, we are going to be talking about the breaking news of the Jumbo Jimmy Crab Shack was on fire and damage destroyed. Handful of news top stories of the new Starbucks are now opening for business right here in Northeast Maryland. The Krispy Kreme is giving away free donuts. New CSX Heritage Unit Georgia Railroad with the locomotive 1834 and BG Pipeline at Key Bridge. Before we do that, let's do the weather, traffic, and the Maryland lottery number updates. Today, in the state of Maryland, it's going to be 82 degrees, mostly cloudy, feels like 91 degrees. Scattered rain showers are expected. The high will be 92. That's what it says right there. It's going to be 92 degrees, light rain showers. And then tomorrow, it's going to be Monday, around sunny, around 81 degrees. Now, here's the rest of the forecast. Listen carefully. So on Tuesday, it's going to be 85 degrees sunny. And then sunny on Wednesday will be 87 degrees. Thursday... Mostly sunny around 92. And then partly sunny will be on Friday will be 93 degrees. And finally, Saturday is going to be 94 degrees with the rain showers, with the scattered rain showers. Here's a look at the latest Maryland lottery number updates. The Jumbo Jimmy Crab Shack place was on fire last November 13th of 2023. It's damaged and destroyed by the fire. So as of this, it's abandoned. We went up there right here in Port Deposit and just take a look at this when we do the breaking news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the worst breaking news in history because what you see behind me is the Jumbo Jimmy's Crab Shack is abandoned. It was on fire and it was damaged. So therefore, I want you ladies and gentlemen to take a look at this.
Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, that Jumbo Jimmy Crab Chat is shut down temporarily. If anyone of information, if you see those fire, you should urge to contact the fire department nearby. So we are coming to you from the Jimmy's Jumbo Crab Chat right here in Port Deposit. We have a new Starbucks. It's a 100% progress. It's all done. So as of this, it's now opening for business. So ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. The all new Starbucks is now opening for business. And we are hiring people just like you gonna be working at Starbucks. I want you ladies and gentlemen to take a look at the new design of the Starbucks. If you would like to get that job at Starbucks right here in Northeast Maryland, head to the website at careers.starbucks.com. We are coming to you from the state of Maryland, which is in Northeast. Krispy Kreme is celebrating the 4th of July in a major way this year. Not only is the donut shop launching its new Star Spangled Banner, sweetness collection they also given away a free donuts to swag your free donut all you have to do is show up to a participating Krispy Kreme on July 4th wearing red white and blue your patriotic attire will get you a free original glazed donut from a shop the collection includes Firework cookies and cream filled donut new. An unglazed donut filled with cookies and cream hand dip in red icing and decorate with a blue icing swirled and rocket candy piece. Cotton candy sparkle donut. An original glazed donut hand dip in blue icing and cotton candy sugar and decorate with White and red buttercream dollops. Freedom flag donut. 
an original glazed donut hand dip in white icing and decorate with patriotic red icing stripes and blue and gold sprinkles. We have a unveiling a another new CSX heritage unit that is going to be a Georgia Railroad locomotive 1834. It was released on June 25th. It's a 16th CSX heritage locomotive. The Georgia Railroad also known as the Georgia Railroad and Banking Company was chartered in 1833 and became one of the earliest and most influential railroads in the southeastern United States headquartered in Augusta, Georgia. The railroad was instrumental in facilitating transport and commerce across the region during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Originally, the Georgia Railroad was established to connect Augusta with Athens, Georgia. Its route expanded over time, linking key cities such as Atlanta and Macon, thereby becoming an important archery for economic growth in the state. The railroad was re-owned for its efficiency and reliability transporting both passengers and freight. And finally, a pipeline that BGE purged of gas shortage after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore is again fully operational. The cargo ship Dally crashed March 26 into the Key Bridge decimating the span and killing six construction workers as authorities work to recover the bodies and clear the shipping channel of debris. The pipeline, which measures 24 inches in diameter, lay underneath the salvage area. Beginning the day after the collapse, Baltimore Gas and Electric Company purged the line and isolated from its gas system, a process that took six days. Damage to the pipeline could have created a dangerous situation. In other instance, mariners have died after striking an underwater gas line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by for this YouTube recording news. We do trust YouTube Corny News, but we also trust WJZ, WBAL, WMAR, and WBFF News. So I want you ladies and gentlemen to have a great day, and hopefully we will be doing the news every Sundays, just mostly Sundays. Have a great day.